This is the year you normally see in year two coming back from Tommy John surgery where most things start to come together. He did not throw a lot of innings last year to the bag. It's easier for him to do that than have the short, the second baseman covering or the pitcher covering. And this is a first pitch blast into the right field corner. Brady Neal scores a pair. He's on his way to second base and he makes it easily. Brady Neal hunting the first pitch and found it. Jones out of Marietta, Georgia. Mm. A high fly ball is lifted to Morgan in center. He's retreating, he's retreating, he's retreating, and he overruns it. That ball actually dropped it behind him as he was with his back to the infield, and the Tigers get another run out of it. He either lost it in the sun or the wind was playing havoc or both, but he actually outran that ball, and yeah. he could not come back and get it. There's an example of it. He waited. He saw the slow breaking ball coming, and he smacks it into center field, and the Tigers have four already with only one out and a runner at first base in the first. That's going to be a wild pitch and a line drive into right field. It's fumbled out in right field. Bingham had stopped at third. Now he reverses and comes to the plate, and the Tigers get another run. A liner headed to right center field. It's off the glove of the diving Jenkins. Braswell hustles to second base. He drives in a pair, and that's his first base hit as a Tiger, and he is happy about it. That's lined into left center field, and that finds the grass. Milam is on his way to second base. A two-bagger for the youngster. And Ben, he never checked up. He was going 180 feet from the get-go. Well, he's letting Jay Johnson know right now, I won't play in time. The one-two pitch. Ooh. Ripped high and deep. Will it stay fair? It's going to leave the ballpark, and that is a home run. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. A big swing. One more time. And the Tigers are off and rolling. And this young man is having himself a day. Two doubles and a home run. And he's thrown out a batter from behind the plate. Two batters, yeah. Two Brady batters. Neal put a star by his name in the lineup tonight. How about six RBIs in three at bats? You talk about leaning on one. He backfooted that one. How about a little bat flip, too? He knew he had collected his first homer of the year. This one drives in four. Have a day, Brady Neal. We're only in the third inning. A four-run swing for Brady Neal. Lifted into right field. Brown in foul ground behind the bullpen mound. Makes the catch. The runners tag and move up. At least the runner from third did as from second. So Trey Morgan scores from third. Yeah, it should have been an infield fly rule in effect, which of course the batters can advance, and the runners can advance. Here's a liner to center field for another RBI single. As we get caught up, the infield fly rule was in effect, but the rule says with normal effort by an infielder. At time, typically. You know, it's very seldom guys step on campus and they got a great understanding of the strike zone. How far will this one go? It's gonna stay in the ballpark. The left fielder went all the way back to the wall and then realized, uh-oh, I'm in trouble, and that ball dropped 30 feet away from the left fielder. That's the second time today, Ben. We've seen that happen to the center fielder. We've seen it happen to the left fielder. And that is odd. Malazzo draws the base on balls. He'll get the RBI. Ruddle sends this one on a couple of hops to the first baseman, and he is able to beat Ruddle to the bag, but not by much. But another big inning for the Tigers as they get three. Hey everyone, Wheels here, and I'm excited to kick off my sixth year of college baseball coverage. Since there's always new viewers at the beginning of the season, I do want to give a quick reminder to subscribe, as over 50% of viewers watching haven't yet done so. We're so close to reaching half a million subs. Thanks everyone, and let's have another amazing season of college baseball. From three walks. And that one sails over the head of Stark and bounces off the backstop. And another run comes in. That'll be a wild pitch, I'm assuming. 
And another one is upstairs. Still nobody out. Bases loaded. 3-2 pitch. Lofted into center field. It's grabbed out there by Kling. The throw comes to third. A pretty darn Ooh. good one. And very close at third base. I thought Milam might have tagged him on the shoulder, but apparently not. He took a nice swipe at it. Turak is the shortstop. Nipolt at second base. And Larson on first. The transfer, the whip over to first, and there is an out there. But another run scores. Kucherak coming to the ball on the infield. He smacks one into right field. That's down for a base hit. The Tigers going station to station. Everybody moves up another 90 feet, and the Polt. A smash on a line into left field. Another run will score. The Tigers will be in no hurry to uh, push the envelope. It'll be station to station pretty much from here as Travinsky hits one solidly into left field. Yeah, the offense has kind of been okay until the day for LSU, but today they are making up for it in a big way. And Malazzo delivers one to left field for an RBI single. So he's one for one today and two at bats with two RBI. And the hit parade continues. More runs come in. And the Tigers are just relentless at the plate. Here's Ruddle. He's first pitch swinging, and Ruddle sends it deep. This one's coming down in right center field. One Tiger scores. Here comes another one. Here's the throw to the plate. And it's a two-run base hit. And the Tigers just keep on circling the bases. There's going to be a long run for Jenkins. And he makes the galloping grab in fair territory. It's good enough for a sacrifice fly. And the Tigers now have 22 runs, and they've got 22 base hits. Ground ball left side. Third baseman backs up, throws it low, and it skips by the first baseman. Another run scores. Here's the 2-2. Ripped the other way for another base hit. Steven Milam has base hits in his last four at bats. He drives in another run. Boy, he can swing it. And I love where he gets his base hits, too. Over the last half of the game, has had trouble throwing strikes. This is lifted deep into right center field. It's catchable. Fry is out there. He's on the warning track. And that easily will produce a run. A start gave it a ride about 365 feet for the sacrifice fly. Ground ball chop up the middle. Going to be a play for the shortstop. He's only got one option, and that's at first base, and he makes it. Ryan Kucherak gets it done at short. Here's another base hit for Malazzo as he chops it up the middle. And it's fumbled in center field. The runners are going to take another base. They may take two more bases. They are going to try it. That ball rolls deep into center field after being muffed by Trey Morgan. And yet another error for VMI. It's been VMO oh my. This will be a chance for the left fielder. Runner tags at third. He's coming to the plate. Here's the throw. And it is up the line a bit and a sacrifice fly. Kucherak sends a chop to the left side. It's off the third baseman's glove. It's going to roll into shallow left field. The runner is being waved around. Here's the peg off the mark. LSU now has 27 runs. Here's Paxton Kling at the bottom of the order, and he strikes out on the half swing. Let me see if I got that right. I don't think I did. 20 singles is an all-time record. 27 base hits today ties the record. And the all-time record for most runs in a game is 29, so LSU will be too short. But uh, setting a record and tying a record for in the hit category. Rock, paper, scissors, scissors the dugout. Paper, yeah. Ruddle makes the catch as he circled around for it, caught it in fair ground, according to the umpire. A call third strike as Moffitt heats it up at 96 and a half miles an hour. 
And this game is over as LSU with a, a bit of record setting offense today. 20 singles that sets a record for the Tigers in a single game. LSU's 27 hits matches a record. The Tigers come two runs short of tying a record with 29 runs in a game. But 27 they sits 27 runs for the Tigers. They win it 27 to five. And uh, Ben this game was unlike uh, uh, the first two for sure.